Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's talk about the problem 59 in chapter 2. This one is not so difficult as it looks like. It tells us Rogers says water boils fall past his window. So past his window. He noticed that each water ball hit the sidewalk 0.5. 83 seconds after passing his window. And Roger's room is on the third floor, 15 meters above the sidewalk. So now let's draw a picture, see what happens. As there we consider the initial position, it's the, the reference point. This is the position where, where these balls are just uh, for just uh, and just uh, rest, right? Just uh, we release the balls at this reference point. The initial velocity is zero. The initial position is zero. And this is the windows. And then when it arrives, the windows, we get the velocity v1, the position is y1, t1, right? And then this is the sidewalks. Sidewalks, it, it, when, it, when this ball hit the ground, the velocity is V2, and the position for Y2 is 50 meters above the sidewalk. You can see, it tells us the window is 15 meters above the sidewalk, sidewalks. So that means the Y2 should be Y1 plus 15 meters. And then it tells us, he noticed that each ball hit the sidewalks 0, 0 0.83 seconds after passing his windows. That means after passing his window, this is T1, after passing his window, hit the ground. So T2 is T1 plus 0 0.83. Do you agree? Yes, there is a ball. We can see as initial, we release it. When we release it, we consider this one as reference point. The initial velocity and initial position is 0. And then it falls to this position. This is a window. It gets the velocity v1, position y1, time t1. Then it hits the ground. It gets the velocity v2, the position y2, and the time is t2. And there is a relationship between y1 and y2, t1 and t2. Does that clear, make, does that clear to you? Yeah. Then ask you, in this is a free fall body, the acceleration is always pointing down. The magnitude is 9.8 meter per second square. Ask you, how fast are the balls traveling when it passes uh, this uh, Roger's window? So this one is first one. Ask you v1, right? The second one, assume these balls are being released from stationary. From what floor are they being released? And each floor of the dome is uh, five meter high. So the second one, I want to ask you the y2. Do you agree? Now let's see how it happens. In this one, we can write the equation position with the time t. And then we find this is a, the time t taken for from the t2 to t1 is 0 0.83 seconds. Do you agree? So we can see, and uh, the initial position we can consider as zero from this part to this part. We can write the, the equation position with time t. We can say this is a y2 y plus, equals y1 plus v1 t times one half a t square and then we input the lower quantities and this a is net is a g and then so we can solve the problems look like this one and y2 minus y1 is 15 meters right so we can see when we solve this v1 we, it is there so y2 minus y1 and divided by t and this one move it to this side it becomes a negative gt divided by 2. So y2 minus y1, 15 meter divided by time taken, 0 0.83. Minus g is 9.8 times this 0 0.83 divided by 2. We get the v1 is 15 meter per second. Agree? Yeah. Then v1 is 15 meter per second. Ask you, assume uh, this ball is being released from stationary, from what floor are being released. So now we need to find the y2. Agree? And the y1. So first thing, let's look at the y1. We can see from the 
initial, this is the zero, initial velocity, initial position. And then we can find the y1 position at zero. So this one, because v1 is given, and then we can solve that y1 equals to v1 squared divided by 2g. So y1 is get, and y2 is just the y1 plus 15 meter. Then we put it inside, we find it is 35 meter, and then each floor is 5 meter. 35 meter is just a 7 floor. So in this one, we can see at the first problems, we just need to consider this equation. This one is the displacement, a function displacement with time taking t, right? And there we choose the, this part from the window to the ground, from window to the ground. And then it tells you the y2. The displacement from a window to the ground is 15 meter. And in this one, we can solve the v1. After we know the v1, we can find the y1, right? y1. So find y1 is easy. Use the velocity with the displacement function, and then we can get the y1. And the y2 is just the y1 plus 15. We get the total um, displacement y2. Thank you.